What's up guys, my name is Fran, and once again, welcome back. And this video is gonna be my review of the AMD Vega RX 64. Kinda sounds like a game console, right? 64. It's been about two weeks since AMD's launched their RX Vega lineup. So what that means is that there's probably a ton of YouTube videos out there that are heavily comparing the gaming performance of the AMD Vega RX 56 and 64 compared to their competitors over on the Nvidia side, the GTX 1070 and 1080. So what I wanted to try to do in this video is not so much focus on that while we will go over some of the performance numbers, but I wanted to talk about what AMD RX Vega really means to the entire PC enthusiast industry as a whole. But before we get into that part of the review, let's take a look at the actual card itself. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get my hands on the limited edition version of the RX Vega 64 and its nice silver brush aluminum packaging. And that's primarily because at the time I was ordering this, I'm not a big time reviewer, I gotta buy this stuff myself. Uh, I actually was more focused on actually getting getting an order place opposed to actually which card that Newegg actually had in stock. But I still think that this card looks really good and uh, it actually goes a little bit better with my all AMD Ryzen build. But taking a look at the actual card, it looks very similar to the reference models of the RX 480 and RX 580. However, I will tell you, you probably can't tell from the actual video, but this card is rock solid. It feels very similar to if you've held a reference version of the uh, GTX 1080 or 1080 Ti or even 1070, it feels like a really nice and solid piece of aluminum. While the RX 480 and 580 were actually made up of a plastic shroud, making them feel a little bit cheap. Swinging around to the front of the card, or the I.O. of the card, you will notice that of course AMD has ditched the DVI port as they've done a very long time ago, but it does still include an HDMI 2.0 port as well as three display ports. Having a look at the top of the graphics card, you will notice a BIOS toggle switch. Now this toggle switch allows you to switch between different modes, such as power saver or turbo mode on this graphics card. Now swinging our attention all the way to the back of the RX Vega 64, you will notice a number of load LEDs. These LEDs light up based on the actual load that's being put on top of the graphics card. And then you'll notice two 8-pin power connectors. The RX Vega 64 is a complete power hog. I'll throw up some of the numbers of idle versus load, but you will notice that this graphics card uses a lot more energy than the average Nvidia card, or even some of the previous generation RX cards, such as the RX 580 and 480. So what type of performance are you receiving from the RX Vega 64 in exchange for all of this power draw? Before we jump into the benchmarks, I did want to take this time to mention some of the testing methodology that I use as well as the hardware that I use for all the benchmarking, in case you guys were wondering. As far as the hardware goes, I did use the AMD Vega RX 64 graphics card inside of my all AMD Ryzen build. Now I will tell you guys that it did perform a little bit better in my i7-7700K system, but for the sake of just using an all AMD system, I decided to go with this one for a lot of the benchmarks. As far as the graphics and resolution that I use for all the testing, I did go with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. And as far as graphics goes, I did go as high as I could possibly go within that resolution for every single one of the titles that I tested. So what does AMD's RX Vega lineup mean to the PC enthusiast community? Pretty much what we've been seeing in a lot of reviews are true. The card doesn't completely blow the GTX GeForce lineup out of the water, but it does in certain situations where the games are optimized for asynchronous compute and OpenCL, it does favor performance on the AMD platform. But in most titles, as of right now at the time of recording this video, the GTX 1080 and 1070 are faster than the RX Vega cards. But there are a few other things to consider. As of right now, the drivers for RX Vega are in its infancy. And honestly, there really hasn't been that much development, even though I'm sure AMD is working day and night to squeeze every bit of performance they can out of these graphics cards. As of right now, I don't think they're even really scratching the surface of this. And I think once AMD really gets that formula down and they're able to optimize these drivers for all of these games, we will start to see performance completely skyrocket. There's also the task of game developers actually optimizing their titles as well for AMD-based graphics cards. And I do 
think that now that AMD is really starting to shake up the entire industry, we will start to see game titles that are both optimized for NVIDIA graphics cards as well as AMD graphics cards. And at that point, I really feel like we're gonna see a lot of the performance numbers that we're seeing right now completely go through the roof and actually skyrocket. Oh, and one more thing. Have you noticed that AMD only came out with competition for the GTX 1070 and 1080 and nothing for the 1080 Ti? It kind of gets me thinking. I think AMD might have one more card up their sleeve. I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future we see another RX Vega SKU that's aimed to actually destroy the GTX 1080 Ti. But we're gonna sort of just have to wait and see. So while I don't feel like the AMD RX Vega 64 is a complete home run just yet, I do feel like it's probably one of the best things or best cards that's actually ever come out on the market because we really need some major competition for Nvidia and I think it's gonna be an exciting next couple of years. Well anyway guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys have any thoughts about this subject, do me a favor, leave them in the comment section below. I'd be very interested to have a conversation about what you guys think about the AMD RX Vega lineup. Also write it down there if you like this video, slam on the like button and if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, get subscribed. Once again, guys, my name is Fran. Thanks so much for checking out this video, and I will see you guys in my next one.